This candidate is running in Lebanon's parliamentary elections. From the Beirut studios of private broadcaster Future TV, he is presenting his manifesto to the public. But he had to pay for this privilege. Private Lebanese radio and television stations can charge candidates up to $6,000 per minute for an on-air interview and $240,000 for a full program. And the closer to election day, the higher the price. We have had access to packages for the campaign, able to reach as much as one and a half million dollars that have been presented to parties and lists that want to get their ideas and projects out. Lebanon is set to hold its first election in nine years on May 6. For some media outlets, it's an opportunity to replenish their funds after many lean years. At the Committee for Supervising the Elections, 25 employees keep an eye on airtime given to candidates every day. Like Manal, they monitor all political interventions and make a note of possible infractions. They are candidates you've never heard of. You've never seen them because they have no presence in the media. And of course there are infractions because the media say very, very rarely if political appearances are paid for or free of charge. Lebanon's new proportional representation system has encouraged some civil society groups to enter candidates. They hope to win votes in areas long held by traditional political parties. But this list fits an uphill battle partly because of the considerable sums needed for campaigning. Who today is able to pay $1 million to appear in the media? Who can pay 20000 for a half-hour live on television? Who? Those who are already in power, the traditional parties. The business model for most media outlets relies largely on money from political parties. So for alternative parties and lists, their campaigns will remain limited to social media and appearances on public television, the only station that doesn't charge for its airtime.